So hello friends, welcome back to channel. Till now we have learned about the cron command and cron syntax. Today we will learn like how to find how many users are running a cron job. So let assume your system is having 100 of the user and you are not aware how many users are running a cron job and you want to see all the cron job. So tab hyphen u amit hyphen l and then again second username this is a quite tedious job so for that all the cron top all the cron file is getting saved in where spool cron the directory if you put ls hyphen l okay then cron tab file is here directory will go cron tab here you will find the user which is running a cron job so only pregnant user is running cron job and you will be able to see that cron it is having two cron job and cron tab hyphen l root is not having right now okay and that's why we are not having root directory so let's put a cron job for root directory root user okay append this file one two three four five wall Okay. okay we have saved now we'll see content hyphen l it's visible and if i do ls hyphen l okay boom root file also came so get root you're able to see so whenever you are writing a cron job to any user it is getting written here in a separate file that's why we are not able to view view other user cron job because it is running in a different different file whatever you are writing new file will get created as per the user okay so where school cron cron tabs this is a directory where you will find all the cron job second how you allow a user to execute a cron job i don't want my like all the users should have cron i don't want those things on in my environment and that's how it's work in a corporate so if you don't want to like uh, give permission to any user get slash etc cron dot deny will create a file no such file okay we'll create it amit user okay let me switch as amit okay cron tab hyphen l not allow not allow not allow so this how you can create a file cron.deny so system will read the file cron.deny first and then execute but if you are having anything see cron tab hyphen l is working for root and for pregnant user also we'll see and it's working only amit user is not able to do that thing so we slash etc cron dot deny if i put hash in front of this or if i remove this amit line then we'll switch to amit user cron tab hyphen l boom it's working so if you want to restrict any user to use a cron job which we are using in our environment create a file etc cron dot deny and similarly you can create cron.allow whatever entry is in allow that person will get allowed okay or else you can create a deny file whatever user you are putting in a deny those will get deny it's up to you how you want to use so let's discuss a scenario i am having thousand users in my system and i want only five user out of the thousand should have cron access so what you will do you will entry you will make an entry in a deny file or allow file my answer will be in allow file because if i am going to put entry in a deny file i have to put 995 entries i have to put because i am having 1000 user and i want to give access to the only five user so better to put five entries in a allow file so only those user will get access to chrome job so it's according to situation like how many entries you are having allow or deny you can create a file and use it so this is how you will see and I will take a backup of this thing slash where spool cron 
on tabs if you take a backup of these things it will be here like we have created a user Amit and it is also having cron tab entry cron tab hyphen e okay in basis we go and and put one two three four five and echo it will do echo okay so cron tab hyphen l it is showing here and if you see as a root user okay file got created here and whatever entry was visible there you will able to see here also so what we have learned we have learned the cron tab hyphen l u e r these are the four commands and we have learned about the syntax what's the syntax minute hour day of the week day of the month every week and sunday monday all the days and then we have learned how to allow user how to deny user how to find how, how many users are having the cron tab set on their username and how to see the others use a cron job how to set a cron job so that's all for today you can keep practicing on this job use this website accordingly you can use for range use hyphen if you want to run it two times in a day you can use comma okay so that's all for today see you in the next video till then keep practicing bye bye